I usually I listen to like this album called the the Much Much How How and I, and it's just like it's really good. I, I think everyone's listening to it because it's really funny. But into our first match, not of the day. First first match of uh, since of, we we're talking about yeah. it. Yeah. The first match until I start to like, go home. So we have Carflow versus Dill over here in losers uh losers finals and Carflow even. <laughs> Oh my god, Carflow's dead. I mean, that's, that's the same problem we saw earlier, kind of with Carflow uh, versus, not show, but the possibility that could have been is that the both characters that Carflow plays, Roy and Krom, are so susceptible to being given off stage. And you saw Dill be so like, don't kill me over here, like, don't play with me. Do not throw me all the way out into a blast zone. But Dill is struggling to get back on stage because Carflow's just on her wherever she's trying to go. But finally, getting a little bit of, uh, look at Carflow getting all of her with that fair into a. Uh, to all that Nair into dash attack, everything was going on right there. See dash attack again, Gyro is set up on the ledge and now it's gone, but Carpo wisely poking at her shield just like that. The down so definitely gonna be taking uh, uh, Dill off into the edge of the stage. Again, mostly just patience is definitely what, we need, what we're gonna be needing here uh, from Dill's end. Which is well how she plays either way, but that might be kind of the thorn on her backside if Carpo is able to keep, the, keep up the momentum even with the, uh, the very early stock take. Alright, excellent spot draws from Dill, letting her live a little bit longer, trying to get a real on an uh, up smash landing. But thankfully, no punish from Carpo. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's Carpo's gyro, my bad. Alright, back here definitely uh, giving me a little bit safe. Oh, but that's not going to be, and that's huge damage for Carflow as well. Are you serious? That's gross. That's gross. Carflow, I love you, but that was gross. And the instant replay to make it even grosser, I'm sick. And now suddenly, the the kind of com the comfortability that Dill had in that second stock is some is completely obliterated. Thankfully, you're dodging away and getting the first one as well to get away as much as she can from Carflow, because Carflow is up in her trying to get these F smash reads, trying to get these side beats as well with how big Rob is, how susceptible he is to such a, an unfortunate fate. Alright, gain the up air finally and gain that second stock from Carflow. Now we have one stock a game piece, uh, one stock a piece for our game one. Dill definitely will be playing a little bit more patiently this time. I see that laser is completely charged up. Gyro into the double dash attack, into the fair, into the down smash. I see you. What can Carflow go over here? He's gonna be just waiting. Dill definitely gonna be using that, uh, that gas that Rob has to an advantage and just Carflow has to kind of hold that. On there into the jab into the sorry fair. Excellent uh, air dodge right to the platform. Get gotta get away from that stage because that is gonna happen. Uh, mostly Carflow. If he if he has stayed on that platform for a little too long, from that ledge for a little too long, Dill would have absolutely taken that stock. But because Roy is just such a fast character, such a great character, and just weaves around a lot of what Roy's uh, what Rob is trying to do. Carflow just got the advantage right there. Look at that. Immediately jumped down, knew that Rob was going to be right above it, right, right above Roy, and was just like, all right, bet, I'm just going to back here for you. Such a great move. Should not give given to Roy, but such a great move. And now onto a game two. Um, yeah. Just really unfortunate for Dill for that game one, but hopefully uh, we can see a mimic of what happened in winner's side where Dill did eventually go 2 1 versus Carflow. So. I do be want. I do want to see Dill come through and make the adaptations necessary, like she did in game, uh, game two and three of Winter Side, to make it over back to her run back with Jewels. Because I, I, how? You, uh, either way, exit down there into the jab, trying to get the side B, converting it into the up air instead. Lovely winner from, from both these players. Honestly, Carflow, one of the best like adaptate uh, people who can adapt so well. But we can't adapt to that up air. You are going to die no matter what, regardless of a. Uh, third platform or not. Alright, Carpo definitely has uh, Gyro in hand. Try throwing it down to the first advantage state, but we're going to drop right down on shield and still making a nasty face at that side B. He made a lot of those like, ah, go back over there actually. Using the fair to get uh, Carpo off her in that back here is just only going to be set up, setting up Carflow for an excellent uh, entrance into some combos. Carflow unwisely leaning, leaning right into that uh, that laser. 
Mm, and you saw it, though, I think we're trying to set up for that gyro wall I like to talk about, where you're going in between the gyro, back and forth, back and forth, and then you get F smash for it, while you're at, like, ungodly percentages. Okay, nicely, uh... Actually, I like that from Dill, using the gyro and the, uh... The laser on top of Carfo's shoot, and then just pointing the other big laser up in order to uh, bait out that reaction from Carfo was really smart of her. And there's that Zombear we kept talking about earlier. The only reason Zombear is actually killed! And still only 91%. I definitely can't see a game through capping it here if we don't allow ourselves to get caught by just that positioning from Roy. And now there's that jab, thankfully, living a little bit longer. That could have been really dangerous for Dill, but now again, the Nair is sending her all the way out. Gyro in hand, trying to get the drop down, but missing it and getting an up air instead. Excellent F to right out of, right out of uh, parry. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Now we have an even game. This could be Carthos, uh win into the winner's side of bracket. Or, I'm sorry, into, gra into Grand. If he's able to continue the momentum against Dill, and Dill just has to play on her top game right now. Excellent down, so the rollback. Into the nair, into the double nair, into the up air, another up air for your troubles, and a third one? No, just two. Alright, guessing the jump was really good, using fair to get away from that gyro, love the up tilt to the side B. Okay, the up tilt into the up air, not taking it quite yet, excellent DI from Carfle right there. Down tilt into the... Your, yo? Down tilt into up smash. I'm not sure, but I think Dill had a tiny little, uh, little, uh, little bleeding pop off right there. Just very, very slight. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. We got this, which was really good from the I, I could be mistaken. I could yeah, be mistaken. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Okay, look, look, look. Oh, okay. No, never mind. I thought oh. that she jolted a little bit, but no. It was just like the, the standard wait, we got, Dill sigh of relief. Yeah, just... Oh, you want to see Carflo? So, no, it was... Look, because I, I was waiting was for Carflo like, to actually no. die, because usually, like... like really? He has really good DI, and I was like, maybe we'll live that. But no, you are dead, and Dill had that disgusted face. Like, oh, I hate Roy. But now we're going back, right back to regular Battlefield. That extra platform should be really good for Dill as well as Carfo. It gives him a lot more options to land around, and also can actually contest Dill when she's uh, up being really high into the ceiling. So, hope we can see some way to use this uh, really high up beat from Carfo. Really scary. Such a, such an easy way for Dill to contest you so easily. And what is happening here? Not a single percentage taken on to Dill, and Carfo's just stuck on this ledge and finally coming in with the side B into Nair, into up airs. A third little up air that's a soft spot and definitely soured right now. <laughs> Not the turnaround. It was like that all that hard work that Dill was uh, using is kind of just gone, but into the pummel, can we get the, the mash? We absolutely can. And the last hit of that up air is going to be saving ourselves some trouble with that la second stock. Uh, gone and dusted. Alright, Dill definitely needs a little bit of being a little more patient on the air, knowing that Carpo likely won't be able to challenge her unless she goes all the way up there, but look at her to be a little bit too low, and that's how Carpo's able to grab you and send you to hell. He saw Carpo take a play job, Dill's book, and they're on ledge to get her off of him for a little bit there. No, sneeze. Oh, it went away. That's, I, uh sad. Gyro is again in hand. Like the, the repeated uh, re-grabs of Gyro is actually really smart. It kind of throws off your opponent to see where it's going to go and moves their eyes off the screen for a second there. But we are back on ledge where Saipi is such a susceptible part of Carfo's plan. You can die literally right now, but still taking it out into her own hands into the up air. Excellent, excellent move against Carfo. Does not let him land anywhere safely on the stage. This, this, just, just this dashing back and forth from both of them, trying to get some kind of control of the situation. Carflo trying to get it, but kind of just weaves away from his own opportunity right there. Oh, that was an excellent parry, but just a little bit too far to continue off. But we're definitely going to be getting that jab into back air. And a little bit of a pop-up by Carflo. We should be seeing him get a little bit of a lead as well with all this rage going on. Well, he's a star of rage. Excellent pick from Carflow, knowing that Dill's gonna continuously go for these fairs and these nairs, so... This is really huge for him, this has to be really patient with Dill's recovery option. Going into the down air, down air, down, down to down to into the forward smash. And Dill immediately leaves the situation from the angel platform, knowing that Carflow's like can come down with like a fair or something like that, or a nair. 
But we're gonna be seeing another up air and missing. I don't think he wanted to do a fair right there. It was just eating up more percentage as we speak, and we're gonna be ganging up with a down. Oh my god, that was kind of crazy. Yeah. Carfo is so funny. Bro just wants it. Oh no! Dill stomping her feet. A little, a little bit mad, but it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, you know? This overall just excellent tracking from Carflow either way, just able to really convert a lot of like whipped aerials into other um, attacks, and usually into like a nair or a fair. Not nair, um, fair or up air. Just super good stuff from both of them. Yeah, this was just, that was just really unfortunate uh, moment from Dill. Got hit with the gyro while she was trying to get up, a, uh, get up, and Carflow knowing that. The job was gonna hit you because you're not really aware of it. I'm going to back it for your trouble and be really funny. Good music, always. <sighs> Sometimes coming here after work is like. <sighs> I went to visit my I friend. Get that. Yeah. It, 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 I came here from work and, af and after school. Like I got school in the at 9 a.m. and then I went to work, and then I had to deal with kids, and then I had. I, I was at my friend's no house. No one wants to deal with kids. <laughs> 